And so, game number two of this best of three. If Rain wins, they move on with the 2-0 record, both in this game and in group, to the next uh, day. If they lose, then we go to a game three. Obviously, if BT loses, they go down to the tiebreakers to see if they stay in upper groups or lower groups. For the side of Rain, we got Kleber, Kleber, Ragnar, Gearing, Moskva, Brisbane, Salem, Ohio, Vermont. And for the side of BT, we've got Ragnar, Cabby, Cabby, Moskva, Marseille, Brisbane, death. Salem, Ohio, and Burgoyne. Now the Cabbies are an interesting choice. So the Cabbies are taking the ledge mod in slot five. Uh, yeah, both of them are running the exact same build. This is a farming, well, minor change between IFA and Greece leaders, but this is a, f these ships are gonna be looking to farm. Now, As we look in at these, both of them have the heal and their speed boosting. Let's see where these teams are going to go, because this is going to be very interesting. I'm still not sold on the cabbie choice by them. Um, I feel like you were giving up a lot by taking Kabarovsks, but we'll see what they're going to do. Now, looks like we're going to see a heavy push from Rain to A, and basically nothing over there can test it. This Kabarovs, Kabarovs, Ragnar, though, uh, if the Kleber dies here early on, this is a really big win for BT as they try to push. So we got to watch this, because these Cabbies are going to be close in and looking. The Kleber is running ledge mod, but he's going to be in to see here in a second, and here comes the charge. Oh my goodness, this is aggressive. Nobody spotted yet. Oh, Cabby gets spotted by this sh the sheep. Nobody has radar coverage on him yet, though. And Vesa Vesarionich has to watch out. Vesarionich might be about to take Torps, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he does dive in. He will just dodge those. Now, will he push in to try to take the cap? He has not pushed in to try to take the cap. Salem radars will spot Gangbarang. And now, even though C was taken, it's going to be immediately fought back. And here comes the spam. Spam really thick, uh, thick out onto that uh, real ship Shady there. Moskva takes a chunk, 13k, and getting farmed down right now, ladies and gentlemen. B cap is taken by the side of rain. C just gets taken before any resets. But A is also taken by Rain, so Rain is now up, two caps to one, and the point's growing. They are down 24,000 health, we'll keep an eye on that health pool as it continues to move on. But right now, Rain in the advantage spot. So now that C has been taken, look at how quick this destroyer wolf pack is cutting straight over to B. This is BT's plan, is they're going to use these destroyers to just take the caps and run the teams off. How well it'll work, I'm not sold on yet. Um, one, because rain is good. Two, because like I said, the cabbies just, I'm not sold on the cabbies. And so now you can see these cabbies moving over. They want to get the Salem, but man, this is just... Vesarionich has to be very careful here. If he takes major damage, 
this could become quickly a big problem. Shots onto the Ragnar. I mean, the Salem's going to have the shots out. It's just a question of how much does he get on the damage. And right now, he's not getting good. Uh, he's not getting good value. He is not getting good value at all on his uh, shots. Ragnar, though, now of Strongbow does get focused down and some better shots in. Kabaros of Magnemite, Magnemite takes some damage. But yeah, this is where the this is where the rock and a hard place come into play. Salem can't back up because the Ohio too far. He's got the ships in front of him. He's got to get a kill. BT needs that kill if they're going to win. BT is up 30,000 health, which is good, but they need kills. Big chunk right there onto AL. Another big chunk onto the Salem of BT. Not feeling good there. That's what you got to watch out for with an Ohio there and 457 millimeter guns. Kabros of Vesarionich comes back out again. He is spotted. He's burning a little bit. Hasn't used the DCP yet. Salem just dodges the shots. And that points lead now up over 140. Ooh, big chunk on the Ohio from the Vermont. Vermont does some work on him, and he is not a happy camper right now. B is being contested, so that points lead staying still. Shots onto the Salem, and BT needs that kill. They're not getting the good focus fire in right now to be able to get that kill. And that is going to be a problem if they keep this up. Now, you look at it from Rain's perspective, and Rain's quite happy with where they are. They've been effectively whittling down the DD comp. The Ragnar is hurt, and he's the only one that can heal, but he's down the lowest of the three. Both Kabaroths have to... Well, sorry, all of them can heal. Pardon me. Um, keep forgetting Kabaroths has a heal. But the Ragnar's down to 9,000 and has been forced out. And he does have radar, which means that getting him low is good. The Salem down to 23,000. Oh, Vermont shots in. Don't quite kill, but very close. And the Ragnar down to 1,100. They're not going to put any more shots on him. But the fact that the Ragnar is maxing his heal out at probably about 4K does not feel good. Shots just missed the Moskva. B about to be contested again, but that points lead grew to almost 200 in the time it wasn't. And that health lead is negated. Nobody has a health lead right now. They're trying to get gang bearing out, but it's just not anywhere near enough to get him out. And though B is being contested, it's once again. How long will it take you to cap? So right now, your cabbie's down to 11k. He has the heal, one heal left. But Rain wants this win right now. Rain is taking some more damage now. The gang brain taking some damage. They've lost that health lead. They're back down to by about 20k. And now the Brisbane just working the Vermont. And it really comes down to who blinks first here. What team blinks first here? And it looks like BT's blinking. They're backing out the cabbies from B, which is going to let that lead increase. And they're trying to make sure he doesn't die. But look at that on the shots onto the Salem. The Salem, they're just all these shots coming in, and they're not doing any damage. All these shots coming in, and from that position, they're just not doing any damage. Double fire, triple fire possibly, I don't know. Um, Salem running. Yeah, triple fire. Salem finally uses the DCP. But yeah, that that's definitely a, a blink by the side of BT first. Though this Ohio coming up, BT, if they get this Ohio into position, is going to do some really good work. He dodges the first rack of Clebertorps. Looks like he's positioned to dodge the second rack. No, he will take one. Everything but now, which way does he turn? If he turns out, he's going to get absolutely shredded here. He does turn out. He's going to take one. Oh, he manages to turn back in just in time. So now he's got a gearing on his flank. And they get the Kabros of Magnemite out of the game, ladies and gentlemen. And Rain does get their first blood. Now the Salem moves forward. He's looking for Vesarionovich. 
who's down to 3,600. A couple more salvos will do it. And Sigismund first is about to go down as well. 24,000, 30 seconds till heal. He doesn't have the DCP. And he's gone, ladies and gentlemen. Big shots out from the Burgon, or the Vermont, pardon me, will finish off the Ohio. And the gearing delivers the coup de gras. And there goes the Moskva, and Rain is now up three ships. Make that four ships as they get the cabbie as well. And ladies and gentlemen, with that, it's 15 seconds. Rain just suddenly steps on the gas pedal, and they're going to take this game. They're going to take this series, and they are moving on to tomorrow with a perfect 2-0 record today in their best of three matches. We are mighty, but defeated. And BT will have to play at least one more set.